error code P0449. That's the error that's causing my engine light to come on on my 2006 Chevy Silverado. But before I even hooked the code reader up, I knew what the problem was because I ran into this exact same problem five years ago when I overfilled my gas tank. That's right, the 2006 Chevy Silverado and probably a couple other years have a problem where if you try to overfill the gas tank by topping it off, you can get gasoline down a vent line. And guess what? There's a solenoid at the end of that vent line and it'll get damaged from that gasoline. I know because I've done it twice now. The part that gets damaged is known as a vapor canister vent solenoid. I purchased mine on Amazon and it only cost me $12.80 for my truck. The vent solenoid is mounted underneath the truck and in front of the gas tank. On this quad cap, that puts it directly below the rear driver's side door. Now that we're under the truck, we can clearly see the vent solenoid. It's right alongside the I-beam. And as we're facing towards the rear of the truck now, the gas tank would be right behind this canister. So the first thing we'll do is remove the clamp on here. Now the only reason that there is a clamp is because five years ago when I replaced that solenoid, I had to cut the tubing off because it was heat shrunk right onto the fitting. I used the clamp to reattach it. Okay, with the vent line removed, the next thing we'll do is unhook the wire. It's right along the side. To release the wire, just push back on this red clip and pop it off. To remove the solenoid from the, the mount, all we need to do is to slide a screwdriver underneath that center part and push it up. Once you see the end of that is up and flush, it's unlocked. Then all you have to do is just jiggle it and it'll come off. Okay, the new one is all hooked up. I'll go start the truck up and I'll see if the engine light goes out. I reset the error codes with my code reader. Now I'll start the truck up and make sure that the engine light goes out. And it did. Perfect. 